Good morning here from Plovdiv. This is our hotel by the way. It's called Este Park Hotel. Today is a full day of exploring the second biggest city here in Bulgaria. We will see what you can do here in one day. First bus ride. Such an experience. Mm -hmm. We paid like for 10 stations or something. One lever, quite cheap. Now we are very close to Old Town. The Old Town of Plovdiv is an architectural and historical reserve located on the three hills. Such a unique place. What you see over here is the St. Virgin Mary Cathedral from 1844 here in Old Town. Also very nice church and so, so beautiful guys. Up this little hill over here, you got a very awesome view to the Old Town of Plovdiv. You can see the ancient theater from here, a few cathedrals. We are actually next to the clock tower. Also, just a few things about coming to Bulgaria. It's definitely a very safe country, in my opinion. Yeah, the currency here is leva, so one euro is two leva, or one leva is 50 cent. So definitely nothing special, but it looks quite good. Here we got an avocado toast. The street we are walking on right now is like the newer part of Plovdiv. And up this hill where the ancient theater is, is like the old town. And here's the newer town. So here you got also plenty of cafes, restaurants. This area here is called Kapana. It's filled with uh, fancy cafes and beautiful street art. So come here, check out Kapana. It's very nice, highly recommended, guys. We're going here later, getting some drinks maybe. Definitely very nice place here in Plotiv. I think it's my favorite so far. To be honest with you guys, I didn't expect Plovdiv to be that beautiful. You got so much street art and nice restaurants, cafes. The old town is also just stunning and it's just in the morning. Over the river you find this bridge with the market hall and there are plenty of shops at the entrance and now we are on the other side of Plovdiv. We are back here at the Campana district. Got ourselves two drinks. Sitting on this comfy chairs over here. So such a nice interior and uh, a very fancy one here in Plovdiv guys. Slippery. Definitely one of the highlights or landmarks here in Plovdiv is the ancient theater and the entrance is five leva per person so around about two euro fifty. Roman theater, the ancient theater of Philippopolis I think is the name and it's the one of the best preserved uh, Roman theaters in the world. This can actually host 5,000 to 7,000 people. I think there's also a function going on today, but um, yeah, definitely a place you should come to. This beautiful building over here, which is called Predio Humanico, Humanico, 
Predio Historico. There we got the bell tower. Behind it is the statue where we're going later. The sun is burning right now. This is Plovdiv, guys. City of Seven Hills. I need an old purpose. I'm looking for some. Behind me is the city gate. And this one is the ethnographic museum. But today is Monday and it's closed. So, yeah, looks pretty marvelous. But, yeah, unfortunately, we can't go there. But when you come to Plovdiv, check this place out. Tell us how it was. But from the outside, very nice, guys. And right next to the ethnographic museum, we got the history museum of Plovdiv. We're back at the Cabana district and let's get something to eat. Here we go. I got some risotto with shrimps. Looks pretty insane and red. And this it's is beetroot. what is this? Beetroot. Beetroot risotto with shrimps. Wow. And some parmigiano on it. And here we got some meatballs with the delicious Iva and a cute salad. Some bread. From one food spot to another. Here we got some baklava. It's very big. Yeah, it's such a big slice, of course. Yeah. How to end up a beautiful day here in Plovdiv better than with a lovely view to the city. We are actually at the highest point at the Alyosha Memorial and it's a 11 meter high statue here on this hill. I think it's the highest hill overlooking Plovdiv. Hope you like this little video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and hopefully see you on the next one. Peace!